what's up guys this is Nishant and welcome to my channel. So today I'm gonna show you the entire process to export your character and its animations from Blender to Unity. So let's go for it. So this is my character Max and I have created three different animation actions on this character using NLA editor in Blender. If you're new to Blender or to NLA editor and you don't know what it is and how to use it, I recently posted a video on it. So I highly recommend you to check that first and then come back to this tutorial. Now to export your character in Unity, you need to take care of few things first. Firstly, make sure you already have applied transforms before creating any animations on your character. Then also make sure you rename your actions in NLA editor to avoid any kind of confusion to find your animations in Unity. Then the next thing to take care about is your model's rotation right according to Unity engine. Blender's 3D viewport actually works oppositely to Unity engine. What I mean is, Blender's positive XYZ axis are actually Unity engine's negative XYZ axis. Also, Unity's forward direction is Z axis and Blender's forward direction is Y axis, which makes it negative 90 degrees rotated. So let's make up a character to face the direction right according to the Unity engine. Now my character is facing negative Y axis in Blender, which is the front view of Blender. So first, rotate character to 180 degrees on Z axis and then rotate it negative 90 degrees on X axis to make your character sleep towards the forehead. But make sure you don't apply any transforms after rotating your character. Now simply select the model, select the armature and go to file. Now go to export and select FBX. Now here are a couple of things you need to take care of first. First of all, check selected objects. Then only select armature and mesh to export. Also make sure you select the forward direction as the forward. Uncheck apply unit and use space transforms both. And never apply transforms during export because Unity literally hates applying transforms for the most of the time. Check apply modifiers if you haven't already. Uncheck add leaf bones and check only the deform bones. Now in bake animation, only select key all bones and NLA strips because we are only exporting animations from NLA editor with character and nothing else. And now finally click export. And now let's go to Unity. Now drop the FBX file right into Unity's project manager and it will create an asset. Now open up the list and you will find multiple objects inside it. First your 3D model with materials on it. Then comes the actual materials as sphere walls just like Blender. And then comes the actual 3D mesh without any materials or anything applied on it. Just a simple 3D mesh. And after that you're gonna see some triangular icons. These are your actual animations which you have exported from Blender's NLA editor. You can check their names and see if animations work by selecting one of the animation and go to action viewport and play to see the animation. Now let's put our character in scene and see if animations work in actual gameplay. So select the model first to make some necessary changes before actually adding our character into the gameplay. Go to inspector and select materials. There will be some empty textures on the model so extract them and save them in a folder and now you can also add your texture image files if you have added on any material on your model by simply adding them into your unity materials. Now go to model settings. Here you can change many things depends on your need as a game developer. But for this tutorial leave them at default values they're gonna work just fine. Now go to rig and keep the animation type to generic. Change the avatar definition to create from this model and apply. Now if you check your asset, there will be a new object which is your model's avatar. Now go to animations, here you can check your animations listed. You will also find some settings here and there with animations. But we're gonna leave them at default for now because they're also gonna work just fine with our model. Now simply drag and drop your model to scene hierarchy. A model is facing towards the direction which means we exported it correctly from Blender. Now if you go to inspector and see, there is something we call animator has added onto our model. 
It has multiple functions which make our character to work in a gameplay in Unity. Now first is a controller. Controller is something which will help you to add your animations in a way to make them work with your character in a gameplay. So we need to create it. So go to project manager and right click in the window and go to create and select animator controller. And you will see this new icon. Now rename it and double click on it to open it. It will open up a animator window in which you're gonna use your animation clips to make your character work in a game. So drag it into the animator controller to connect it with your character. Avatar is already preloaded into the slot but if any time you're working with your character and it is not loaded then simply go to your model and simply drag it onto this slot. I will explain root motion just in a few moments that what it is and where we need it. Update mode and culling mode also require their own explanations in depth and are literally related to the game development. But you can leave them just at a default value, they're gonna work just fine like rest of the stuff. Now if you play the game, game mode starts but character not doing anything, right? Well why is that? Because we haven't added any animations into the animator yet. So simply let's drag our walk animation right into the animator or there is another best way to use it is simply duplicate your animation into your project manager as an action clip go to inspect window and check the loop time to make sure it keeps repeating itself and now let's drag it into the animator it will connect it automatically as an entry state in your animator and now if you play the animation congrats our character starts to perform walk animation but it is just walking in a loop right like a repetition but i want it to move in a game scene like generally characters do in a game so let's make it work select the character in project manager and go to rick now change the root node to bone or the bone which you have selected as a root bone for your character in blender now apply and play the game again to see how it works well nothing changed but why because we change the properties on our asset which only affects object inside it but nothing outside so delete this duplicated walk animation and duplicate the walk animation again which has been saved with new root settings now check the loop time again and drop it in an animator now let's play the game and see how it works hmm interesting our character is still not moving forward well there is one last thing to do Simply check the apply root motion and play it again. Now your character just gonna keep walking to the infinite end of the viewport. Now also check your other animations one by one by replacing walk animation and see if they also work. Perfect. So that's it for the tutorial guys and as always like share and subscribe. Have something to say or you wanna ask something leave the comments in comment section and I will get to that. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. Bye.